daughter in a Catholic school. The decision was reached as the public school system in this town simply sucks. It bites, it blows. Yet the local politicians are more concerned about how many more sports arenas we can build. In any event, though I disagree with the mentality of the Catholic school, it was about the best available alternative for better education for our daughter and the most affordable when compared to private institutions. During the school's introduction, a book was distributed to the parents as a guide on how to discuss with your child the subject of sex. In reading through this book, I found a few interesting items that I thought you would enjoy as well. Keep in mind, again, this is from a manual distributed in a Catholic school to the uh, students. Number one, masturbation is a mortal sin as God did not create our body for self-stimulation fueled by lust-induced images. Okay, so put it down, guys. Number two, anal sex, not in so many words, is also a mortal sin as God created the body for procreation and this form of sex should only be for animals. In other words, people should not be uh, fooling around in each other's... Rectum. Which a lot of you are going to be really pissed off about that. You're going to be burning in that lake of fire in no time, goddammit. You're going to be really hot. Oh, that's the idea? Number three, sex is not to be performed as a result of lustful images, and if so, the individual should try to find a way to erase those images from his or her mind as they are obscene. And to allow them into your mind is also a mortal sin. Put those hustlers down, okay? Put those, uh, all those magazines down. Put that porno collection that the Catholic Church has got. Put that away, okay? And last but certainly not least on the list that he faxes to me, and isn't it interesting that we were talking about this on a show only the other day and there were those people denying it. Oh, he's just making that up. The church doesn't teach that. Sex should be done only to procreate and not as a pleasurable activity. Should I read that again? There's no fact in, in the church. Sex should only be done to procreate and not as a pleasurable activity. He goes on to say, I don't happen to have the book with me today at work. However, Monday I'll try to fax you the pages here incited as the language used goes far beyond what I can come up with. But there are the main points, some of the main points. It's so dirty, baby. It's dirty, it's filthy and disgusting, unless, of course, the bishop's doing it. How do you like that? So anyway, this professor at Columbia University says, the expression oy vey is an expression of deep sympathy at a truly tragic occurrence as when somebody dies. Frank Sinatra's dead. Oy! Oh, my God. Phil Hartman, he got shot. His wife's dead, too. Oy! How do you like that? John Denver, dead. Oy! Chris Farley, he's dead. Oy! Bobby Kennedy, dead 30 years ago. We're celebrating it now. Oy! Who else? Pete Maravich, dead. Oy! Pistol Pete. Wyatt Earp, he's dead. Oy! 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 Golda Meir. Oy! Menachem Begin. Oy! Any other dead Jews? There's got to be some other dead Jews. Anybody? Come on, give me your name real quick. Uh, David Ben Gurion, dead. Oy! Yeah. Avril Harriman, dead. Oy! There's nothing funny about. Oy! That's what this uh, pseudo intellectual, uh, real from Jew says at Columbia University. See, when you got anybody, Jews, Goyim, anybody, take stuff so seriously. I mean, Yiddish. That's the best part about Yiddish is that it's uh, fun. It's fun, it's funny, it's off the wall, and most of the goyim don't understand what it means anyway. Well, that's what's great about Jew uh, Yiddish. Why the hell would you even... If it weren't for the food and the Yiddish, why would you even waste your time being Jewish? There's almost no religion to it, except for the lunatics who are over their uh, tzitzes and their uh, taluses and their 400 pounds of clothing they're wearing right now. It's 110 degrees out there on Lincoln Road, which, by the way, will be closed tonight for Gloria Estefan's <coughs> Big Bash to honor her new album. How do you like that? They just closed down her mall tonight for four hours because she's got a new album coming out. And the people at Sony said, they're closed down the Lincoln Road Mall because Gloria, okay, she ain't going to be there, but, uh, you know, close the goddamn mall down. Well, she'd expect to be paid, of course. <coughs> And we now have millions and millions more people who are classified either overweight or obese. In other words, real fat. Like me and like Murray. And like our camera guy there from Channel 69 who's still eating donuts and uh, drinking regular soda with sugar in it. Let's see how many Neelys he shovels. No, seriously, why do you drink Coke with sugar in it? What's wrong with Diet Coke? Do you know how many... Seriously, do you know how you get rid of all that sugar in one year, that'll, that'll cost you like 10 or 15 pounds. It's the only thing keeping me alive right now. Sugar? But how much sugar do you need? How about the goddamn donuts? They don't have enough sugar for you? God almighty. This guy's going to be sitting on the goddamn donuts. He's going to have sugar on his Rectum. pretty soon. Oh, and that, that's why Barry Diller hired him, huh? He wants to get his licks. Anyway. 
So anyway, weight loss is the uh, deal, how they're saying. And uh, they got this new weight index. So anyway, what I was uh, trying to get to here in my own convoluted way, because I'm not going to talk him about uh, He just wants to be fat, okay? One recommendation as far as helping you to lose weight is to be aware of certain fat-free foods that actually are high in calories. Are you listening? A federal chart highlights examples that frequently trip up dieters, not to mention the extra carbs, by the way. A half cup of premium non-fat frozen yogurt contains 190 calories. That's a half cup of premium non-fat, while regular ice cream has 180 calories for the same amount. How do you like that? The fat-free is the biggest fraud, and you broads out there are still running out there with your snack wells and your fat-free this and your antamins and all your other crap, okay? You're going to die. Oy. I'll tell you that right now, okay? I guarantee you, you keep that up, and someday, I guarantee, I promise you, you'll die. Here's a mobile in North Miami Beach. Hello. Neil. Yes, sir. I have a Lonsman clarification. Wyatt Earp, not you. Mrs. Oy. Mrs. Wyatt Earp. You. Yeah. US. Uh, how about Sid Luckman? Oi! Still with us? I'm not sure. Sid. Meyer Lansky? Oi! What sport did he play? <laughs> and he wanted. And how about the Patriarch of the Ponderosa? Ben Cartwright. Oi! He was Jewish? Lauren Green. Lauren Orthodox. Green was Jewish? He was, Green. he was Canadian. Orthodox. He was an Orthodox? Then how the hell did he eat all that Alpo? Oi! No I wonder he's dead. <laughs> An early good Shabbos. We love you. And happy uh, Pesach. Goodbye. And Purim and the Sukkot and Simchas Torah. See, really, there are none of these things. We just make these things up to frustrate all you goyim out there. Two open lines in Dade, and, of course, then they start repeating it. It's, uh, you know, we uh, have, have to use these methods because there's so few of us left. Here's Miami. Hello. Neil God. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, how about uh, J. Edgar Hoover? Dead fag. Oh, <laughs> Big right. time. Big yeah. time. Clyde Tolson is a buddy. Oi. Hey, second time, long time, circumcised Julio. Uh, I'm introducing The Office to uh, your show, and I, I, want, I have a request. If you can put uh, bowel moves on. Bowel moves, you, you got it. We'd really appreciate it, and I, uh, I want to call a couple people douchebags. Is that all right? Go ahead. Reggie Sanchez, Chris Moore, you guys are flaming douchebags. <laughs> have a good okay. weekend. See ya. By the way, wait till you see this. Well, you won't see it, unless you're in the media. Great press release that Sam the Man, our promotion's a sham. I mean, how's that go? put together neil rogers goes by media not bisexual of course unless that the bitch calls back from before the one at the and she sounded like a real skank she called too. back for again. what to try again to try what to convert you i'm not interested in being converted okay she loves you and uh, i don't to. love her i don't want anything to do with her i don't want to smell one of those disgusting <coughs> oh geez i don't want to be anywhere near that thing okay so anyway let yours. me uh, snatch this press release again out of my hand here and say uh, Neil Rogers from 560 WQM will cross over to television for his anticipated TV show. The show will be taped during his on-air show on 560 WQM, and the best of Neil will air on Neil at Night on WAMI Channel 69, formerly the Home Shopping Network, every weeknight from 8.30 to 9 p.m. and replay 10.30 to 11 p.m. starting this Monday, June 8th. The South Florida audience will watch and witness the outrageous, controversial, and highest, pay highest paid air personality in the state of Florida. Loan me $50. In the state of Florida. How do we know that? Ain't Lasseter making a lot more over there in Tampa? Uh-huh. Here's uh, Miami. Hello. Miami, buenos dias. Hey, Neil. How's it going? Great. Hey, uh, how about uh, Gloria Stefan? What are they doing out there at the uh, Lincoln Mall? Well, let me uh, read it to you, okay, sir? All right. It'll kill a couple of seconds unless I already threw it out. Oh, uh, jeez, what the hell? That? I already threw Gloria in the trash. Who appointed them owners of Miami and well, representatives that, that, of all the point. Julios? Well, wait a minute. Let me look at the trash. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Parts of South Beach will be jam-packed tonight when pop singer Gloria Estefan celebrates the release of a new album, Two Years in the Making. Lincoln Road will be shut down from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. between Meridian and Drexel Avenues for a free block party in honor of Estefan's latest release, Gloria. What an original name that is. On Epic Records, a subsidiary of Sony. Those Japs are at it again, sir. <laughs> Estefan is not scheduled to perform, but sponsors Sony Music, Bacardi, and Specs promise a big show, including videos and dancers. Even Ed Sullivan might be there for the big show. Parking's available, et cetera, and so on. So and, uh, and how about uh, Hernandez? You haven't heard you talking much about him. Hernandez? Yeah. Uh, Humberto, uh, Humberto or Levon? That Humberto criminal. or Levon? <laughs> no, no, the criminal. Yeah. Not the pitcher. Well, what is it? He's pitching and catching right now. That's well, what's he gonna, might be catching. Yeah, he's going to be catching whereas he's going, I'll tell you, <laughs> for a long time. Wrecked him. Hey, Neil, can I call somebody a douchebag? Go ahead. Hey, Jason, stop driving, douchebag. Okay. Later, Neil. See ya.